How to create faceless YouTube automation videos with Pictory. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're looking to get started in the YouTube automation niche and you want to create faceless videos and do all of the difficult work with AI, then Pictory is the tool for you. So check out the link in the description box down below to get started with Pictory. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can create your videos with Pictory. So let's get into it. I've left a link link in the description box down below for you guys to get started with Pictory and you guys can use the code creator20 to get 20% off of your preferred plan on Pictory. Now to get started on Pictory, simply log on to Pictory AI with the link down below and you have multiple different options to use Pictory. You have a script to video, you also have article to video as well as video editing tool. Now the first and most important step to creating your faceless YouTube automation video is to know what kind of topic you want. Now, let's say that we want, you know, a basic informational type of video. I already have a script for that. It's about Amsterdam. And your script is obviously going to be different. It's going to be according to the niche that you picked out. And you just want to copy the script that you have. It's very essential to have a good script. So after that, you just click on proceed on the script to video. And then you're just going to paste in your entire script. Now, once you have pasted in your entire script, it's it's very essential to take a look at the sentencing because the captions that the AI tool and the number of scenes that the AI tool will generate will be according to the number of sentences you have. So basically, you want the amount of sentences to be equivalent to the number of scenes you want. So I want this to be in the first caption, this to be second, like this like this. So like this, I have broken down some of the sentences like so. And I think this looks pretty good. So once you have decided on your sentencing, how many scenes or how you want your captions to appear, you just want to click on proceed. This will lead you to the template section. Now over here, you have multiple different types of font templates that you can choose. You have different styles that fit with different niches. Obviously, if you're going for informational videos, realistical videos, you want to go with something simple like these yellow font ones. If you want to go with something more stylistic, you can always go with these background ones that have multiple different colors. A great way to determine what kind of template you should use over here is simply opening up a new tab going on to YouTube. So you can just search for the video title that you're going to create or you know whatever kind of video you're creating. Just search for those kinds of videos on YouTube and just take a look at some of the top videos. Videos. you guys can see the top videos and just take a look at the type of font and the type of template that they have used and you can replicate that template in Pictory. So I am going to go with a simple yellow font because I think that's going to work the best with the type of video we're creating and I'm just going to browse. So I'm going with subtitle yellow and now after that you have to choose your aspect ratio for YouTube videos. We're going to go with 16 by 9. Once you have chosen your template, it will begin creating the scenes and generating the captions for you. The best part about using Pictory AI is that you don't have to use any third-party applications just to create the voiceover. It will create your voiceover as well and you have a bunch of different options for choosing the type of voice you want as well. So later on, I will be showing you guys how you can add voiceovers into your generated video as well. Now it's just matching up my text to video and just like that, the video has been created. Now you guys will be able to see you have multiple different scenes. This is scene one, scene two, scene three. Now let's say I don't really like this because it is talking about football but the building is just looking like a building. So if you want to change the scene or the video that Pictory has automatically chosen, simply click on the scene over here and click on visuals on the top left. Once you do that, you can just search for the type of thing or video that you want. And once you have found that type of video, like this, you're just going to click on the type of video you want and you can add that over here. Now, if you have any of your own videos that you would like to include in your video, you can go into my uploads and drag and drop your files over here and simply click on them to insert them into your Pictory video. Now, after you have gone over all of the scenes that you have, you might want to split certain scenes. So let's say this scene over here. I might want this to, you know, 
be in ellipses so it, it should say did you know that in amsterdam dot 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 and it would just build a little more suspense it just looks better it's visually more interesting or appealing so to do that you simply click on story on your top left and then you can click on the scene that you want to edit move your cursor to the section where you want to split your scene and keep the same back and it will keep the same background for you so after that you will just click on split scene over here and now just like that my scene has been split so so you guys can see did you know that in amsterdam there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 1200 bicycles so in this way it has split up my scene now when you split scenes like this it will keep the same background so if you want to change your background you have to unlink the scenes to do that is very simple simply click on unlink scene on the left side in your story script once you have unlinked the scene, you can click on the dedicated scene that you want to change the visuals on and then click on visuals and change it to whatever you like. Now, once you are satisfied with the visuals that you have in your Pictory generated video, the next thing you want to do is add your audio. So for that, simply click on audio and it usually applies a music a background music track automatically you can listen to a bunch of different tracks and choose the one that you like the best and then you also have ai generated voiceovers from pictory so you guys can see you have your speed as well so you can filter out speed let's say i want it to be slightly fast and then let's say i want to make this in a male voice so i can select male over here and just like that i have a bunch of different male voices so welcome to pictory it has been shown so i think i like this one so i'm just simply going to click on apply over here and just like that the voiceover will be applied now after that you want to adjust the volume of your music and your voiceover so let's just take a look at the music as well so i think i'm going to go with this music so i can just click on apply over here to apply the music of my choice now after you have selected your voiceover and your background music simply click on volume over here to adjust the volume usually i like the background music to be pretty muted so i'm gonna change this to like eight percent but you can choose to tone it up or tone it down depending on what kind of aesthetic or niche that you're going for. Once you've done that, you can add any further embellishments like elements in your video or in your scenes. So you have things such as emojis, GIFs, and stickers as well. So if I want to add a GIF into a scene, I simply have to select the scene that I want to add a GIF in. And I can search in the GIFs like you normally would. Let's say I want to get, you know, a funny video of someone being lost like this. And just like that, I can insert this into a particular scene. Now, you guys can see you also have the option to copy a GIF into all of these scenes. And you also have other options to duplicate it right in the same scene as well. But just like that, you can add a GIF or any element or sticker. And if you want any kind of text to appear, so for example, you want to add your YouTube channel name directly in the screen somewhere where it should be visible during the entire video, you can simply click on text over here, click on add heading, and after that, you will enter your YouTube channel name, whatever your YouTube channel name is, and then you want to resize it, obviously like this and then you can place it wherever you want let's say i'm going to place it on the top left like this now once i've added this i will simply click on the text and then after that i will click on copy to all scenes and then the text box will be added in the same place to all of the scenes of your video now another thing is transitions usually these videos have a basic transition but if you want to add more dynamic transitions you can click on this icon over here and then you have multiple options like fade circle crop smooth right radial wipe up or any direction you want so if i want a fading kind of transition i can add that just like so and you can add whichever transition you can add different transitions onto different video sections now after that you also have your video editing options so in the settings icon over here you will have your loop video and visual zoom and pen if any of your videos are smaller in the area or the grid size then you want to make sure your visual zoom and pen is turned on because otherwise it would be fit in borders and sometimes that cannot look as appealing when the rest of the video is not fitted in borders now once you are satisfied with most of the work that you've done you can click on preview on the top right once you click on preview a preview with the audio will be generated so let's take a quick look at some of the scenes of our generated video that we just created 
Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12,500 bicycles? It's called the Beatsflat, and it's the largest bike park with so- But here's the funny part. Legend has it that the garage is so massive that some people have actually- So you guys can see that our video has now been generated. It looks really nice and the GIF is looking really nice in our clip as well. Now, once you are satisfied with the video preview, you can get started with downloading your video and uploading it onto your YouTube channel and you can create a lot of content, your faceless YouTube automation content, directly from here. So to download it, you can go into the format section. You will have your landscape format and then you want to choose the video resolution. So you want to make sure to go for 1080p and this is only going to be available on the premium versions. So make sure to check the link in the description to get started. And then you can also optimize the generated video for size. Now, I don't like to use this option because it can take a lot of time, but you can choose to do so. And then just simply click on download to download your AI generated faceless YouTube automation video. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.